and welcome to the very special Christmas edition of the Dirt Rally 2.0 Dirt Show. This is Ross, you probably recognise him by now, and we have Johnny on the wheel, so we'll be showing you some cool footage from the game. We're actually going to use three cars, I believe, that have not been seen before in this game. Yep, that's right. You know which ones? Uh, I'm sure you've got them written down in front of you. Okay, correct, so we're going to show the Porsche, as we promised last time. We're also going to show the Peugeot R5 car, which is the 288 T16. T16, and then we're also going to show the Megan RX around Silverstone. So we're going to have a really fun time. At least Johnny is. We're going to watch. That's still fun. It's fine. So um, as you just saw there, that was our brand new trailer. That trailer is uh, one that we released at 2 p.m. today. Really, really exciting, and we thought we'd just show you again just in case you missed it. But it does show the very first glimpses of track degradation that you will have seen. So Ross, track degradation. It's cool, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, one thing I think that uh, on previous live stream I didn't really explain very well was that it's it's not distinct steps. I think previously I'd, I'd explained it and it made it sound like it was three big chunks across the whole running order. Yeah. But it's actually kind of 150 little chunks across the running order. Depending on, on where you start, it changes ever so slightly each time. So yeah, it kind of blends across the... Uh, across the starting uh, lineup. Excellent, so it's a lot more varied than we might what we might have previously described it. Yes. It yes. is very varied and it is very cool. And um, what we haven't also mentioned is obviously that is just for gravel, but for tarmac stages you do see the track rubber in as well, don't you? So yeah, you do. And I think we have um, a little bit of uh, kind of dipping where cars uh, would go offline on the edges of uh, tarmac corners and it kind of starts to create a bit of a, a bump there. Um, yeah. So yeah, stay, stay on the grey stuff. Stay on the grey stuff. That is a safe message for everyone to abide by this Christmas. Right, so it looks like John is ready and yeah. we're not going to waste any more of your time. John is tackling Spain, which you haven't seen before, uh, in the Porsche, which you haven't seen before, on hard tyres, which is going to be quite challenging for John. So we're going to be quiet and let him take you for a spin. Everyone ready? Excellent, let's go. Five, four, Three, two, one, go. Six right, 100. Three left, 150. Two left, extra long, Titans. Into three right, don't cut. Opens of a crest. Into five right long, opens 30. Two right long. Into three left, 30, four left, don't cut one right. Opens over crest, into two right, don't cut two left long, opens and tightens, into five right over crest, extra long, caution, tightens two long. Into six right, into two left long, opens over crest, Six right, into cut five left, opens 150. Two right, opens four, extra, extra long, 50. Four left, tightens three of a bridge. 30, four left long, opens into five right, 100. Narrow four right, into short, six left, 40. Four right, open six, and crest into two left, don't cut. Into five right long, three left long, tightens two. Open six long of a crest, into one right long. Opens 30, small cut, three left long, into three right long of a crest. Into four left, into four right, into four left long, into five right, into cut three left long, into five right of a crest, into cut five left. Into six right, opens 50, three right, Cut, five left, 
into six right of a crest, into four left long, small cut. 50. Three right long, opens into cut for left. Four right, into three left, tighten a small cut. Into keep right of a 50, four right, 100. Five left, cut late, extra long, 30. Early, five right of a crest, cut six left, 50. Six right long, cut six left, into six right, cut four left, into six right, cut six left, five right, into five left of a crest, into six right long, 30. Four left, big cut, into sudden, three right, into four left, 30. Two right, tightens. Into two left, extra long, opens 120. Crest, into three right long, tightens. Into cut, five left. Into three right, extra right, long well, of a crest, 50. Pure Porsche sound, but as you can see, it's very, very tricky. Three trippy. left long. Um, we're super proud of the... Uh, into five right. right. And this into four left it long. It is a 80. massive handful, as you can see, John actually lost it a little bit Small earlier. Because it's not left. easy, and you can into see that there's a right. couple of uh, red sectors. So this one is a. You do have a battle on your hands with this one, I believe, Ross. Six yeah, you really do. Um, there's so much power going through the uh, the rear wheels. I mean, you saw when he went um, slightly offline and uh, kind of stayed on the power, it, it slipped out. You, um, you, you're kind of tiptoeing. Well, for, for mere mortals, uh, I, we're tiptoeing around in this. I mean, John's um, able, to, able to push it harder than uh, most people in the studio, just uh, doing a little uh, showpiece set of donuts <laughs> there um, but uh yeah it's um it's, it's a bit of a beast and he, he does a, a, a great job of, uh, of taming it yeah i mean john is a we know he's a crowd pleaser for example he's not just our resident rally driving consultant but he's also our resident christmas tree as you can see he's lit up very nicely in his flashing uh john armstrong is flashing is a sentence that people around code masters are used to hearing so it's no surprise that this is a slightly more festive than what you would usually expect when we told him to bring a bit of christmas cheer to the studio and uh, he initially suggested uh the, the joke i wasn't quite sure how i was going to go down but now i've been dazzled by it it's uh, yeah well welcome addition it's very impressive it's very sparky i'm a big fan so you can see he's actually just got a couple of green sectors now so he's really working so hard and Obviously, you guys can see his hands on the wheel, but we can right, almost hear him sweating. <laughs> There's pressure on him. Um, and the, the tarmac streets of Spain are an amazing time right as well. This one's one of the longest um, scenarios, and it's so varied because you obviously have the sort of technical town sections and then massive sweeping sections like this where it's so easy to just spin it off the side of the, uh, the road. Oh, yeah, it's um, the, the kind of the wide open landscapes obviously creates incredible backdrops to be, to be driving through at high speed, but. Um, yeah, you do have to listen carefully to uh, to Phil's calls and, uh, and make sure you don't drop off the edge. Into five right long. Yeah, you, you'll also be able to um, to take this car out um, on on any of our uh, kind of gravel stages as well. I mean, whilst you see the, the, this Rally GT car excels on gravel, and, and that's where we've taken sorry excels on tarmac, and that's uh, that was kind of the, the, the driving force to bring them into the game. You, yeah, you can also take them out on gravel um, if you. Uh, if you really want a handful. How do they feel? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I, I've been saying to people that ne never even consider putting the uh, the throttle down to 100%. You know, you, you've you got to stay within your limits. And, and as with so many rear wheel drive vehicles, it's kind of controlling the turn on the throttle rather than than crossing your arms and, uh, and and planting it, you know you're, you're going to go the wrong way fast if you do that. Whereas if you uh, if you feel the way the car moves through uh, through the pedal and, uh, and work it through like that, you'd be much better off. Cool, right. Well, we we should be quiet once more again and let John take us to the end of the stage, and then when we come back, to, well, we'll always be here, but when we come back and talk, we'll talk a little bit more about career mode, which is something that a lot of people will be asking about. Sure thing. Into four left, extra long, opens. Into five right, extra long, 
opens into six left into six right long into four left extra extra long opens keep middle of a 30 six left into five right extra long tightens 100 four right into four left long tightens into four right 80 flat right of a crest into five left 40 three left tightens into three right into five left long 50 six left caution 30 three right tightens opens six long 30 two left long tightens into three right tightens of a finish so we're uh, bringing that stage to the end it was actually 23 seconds faster than the uh, fastest ai at that point so he's not doing too bad there after his little spin you're right john yeah, it was uh, pretty <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Just uh, glad to get to the finish with no uh, major incidents. <laughs> yeah, like we appreciated your donuts. You had twenty three seconds ahead of um, your nearest rival with a few donuts in there as well. Yeah. So we are still uh, we are still working on various parts of the AI balancing uh, we've got a couple of guys over in the studio who are just sat there in front of reams of data that we're collecting from the, the QA team um, and making sure that there is a real challenge at every level don't want people to worry that top line drivers are going to go out there and be able to smash the competition every time yeah. um, there's going to be a, a balance for everyone fair enough they looked absolutely nails to be honest and I can't wait to take it for a spin and smash that Porsche to pieces because I am <laughs> concerned. Costly <laughs> repair bills if you yeah. if you crash a Porsche. I mean exactly when I'm driving in real life I don't have to worry about my Fiat because it has about full brake horsepower <laughs> but <laughs> that, that is a serious piece of machinery. So career mode let's talk about that we've had a few questions on our forum so thanks to everyone who's been probing and um, we thought it'd be best to just have a nice chat about it while we're on the sofa so career mode how, what sort of shape does that form? So the the my team uh, kind of portion of the game is, uh, is will be familiar to players from the first dirt rally and um, for both rally and rally cross there's uh, five steps on a ladder for you to progress up to all the way up to uh, kind of masters and then the the challenge really is staying there and um, you'll be able to do that in any any car you want to you want to so okay, cool. if you want to take a sensible approach you'd uh, you'd start out in sort of a, a yeah a low powered front wheel drive car you know maybe yeah. something historic maybe something from r2 or you you can do the whole thing in the porsche if uh, if you want the uh, you'll be sort of grouped with ai competitors in a car in your class sure. so it's always was kind of appropriate okay. um, and likewise with rally cross you can start out in the first few ladders uh, first few runs off the ladder with whatever car you want when you get to the the top of uh, the rally cross ladder you will need to be using uh, a world rally cross supercar though yeah. um, because we felt that that was that was an appropriate uh, okay. kind of top step <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you can uh, yeah you, you'd be managing your your team as you see fit so uh, yeah. if you if you're running the the really top end cars, you will need to have hired additional engineers to keep on top of the uh, the kind of the repair times. Sure. Um, you will be incurring repair costs all the way. Um, and uh, one thing we've got now is that you need to manage your damage between events. Okay. So if you have, so in previous games, you you could hilariously stack it very close to the finish line tumble over the finish line and there was no real consequence to that yeah. um, whereas the more we've thought about it the more we wanted people to kind of take responsibility <laughs> for the damage that they do to their vehicles so uh, yeah I mean I'd recommend kind of slowing down to the Marshall posts yeah and, I mean, uh... <laughs> really good advice because I know in the first at rally all I do is floor it to the finish line and then end up hitting one of those blocks and then you get the slope where you burst through the blocks and like that car's destroyed yeah <laughs> no fine. no None more of that. of that so before each event you'll uh, you'll have to kind of make a choice as to how much you invest in in repairing your, your damage before an event you know is there can i can i quick fix this part and and yeah. just eke it out or... i mean 
mechanical wear and tear that's a that's a thing as well right yeah it is yeah so um we we're, we're super proud of all the work we we yeah. do with uh our, our kind of our damage models and mechanical damage and really feel that's something that we 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 are the best at and there is I mean, so for example, if you if you smash up your radiator, then your engine is is gonna suffer as a result because it's yeah. not being cooled properly uh, anymore. Um, and there's various knock-on effects for all, you know, all of our all of our mechanical components. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, for this game, it just really feels like there's an extra layer of strategy that you have to apply to everything, whether it be parts, whether it be how you set up your car to deal with the, the degradation, for example, or just tire choice which is something that's kind of brand new to to dirt rally so there's lots of different things going on that you really have to consider for you know each event and then beyond as well it's just a whole layer of new strategy yeah yeah there is um, and so vehicle setups is something that we want to be able to talk about a bit closer to launch as well you know we've been working with um, a couple of guys uh, who are you know, professional mechanics for teams yeah. um, and uh, we're seeing what we can do with them to, to help teach players what the changes in setups can do. Uh, you know, we have a, a, a wealth of adjustments that players can can make, and I think our, our kind of our super core audience and, and the fastest guys know exactly what they're doing with that. But then for other players, I think there's sometimes a little bit of a little bit of confusion um, as to what they can adjust and what effect that has. So whether that's something as simple as raising the ride height slightly when you've yeah. got heavily degraded surface, yeah. um, or uh, you know the, the the wealth of other things you can tweak. And we're, we're having to do do a little series to explain that to everyone. All right, nice. So it looks like we might be ready for the next race. Yeah, we've we? got the Peugeot 28R5 ready to go in Poland. Excellent. So this is, again, the first glimpse of Poland, which you guys won't have seen before. This is the Peugeot R5 car, the um, 208 T16. And John's going to be driving it, I believe, again on hard tyres. Hard tyres again. Yeah, yeah. another <coughs> challenge. Um, so it's going to look a little lively. Uh, again, we're going to be quiet for the first few sectors so you can just enjoy it. Uh, I will also add that Ross is a very busy man here, so he may have to dart off, so you may return and it'll just be me on my own. But don't worry, we'll get him back on the sofa at some point. Right, are you ready, John? Yep. Let's go. Flat left, 50, turn 6 right of a crest, 6 left, 50, flat middle of a crest, 80, deep middle of a jump, 50, 4 right narrow, 80. Keep middle of a jump, 50, 6 left of a jump long, tightens of a crest jump, 120, keep right into 5 left long, narrow over bump, into 6 right, 80, of a long crest into 6 left, tightens past junction, 30, 4 right narrow over crest, don't cut 5 left, opens long into 6 left, 30, Four right long, tightens of a crest, 50. Don't cut four left, into six right, into six left long, 30. Six right of a crest, opens extra, extra long, into slow, six left long of a bump, into three right of a crest, bump, into four left long, into turn, one right, opens long, tarmac. Through bales, keep right of a 30, turn, one right, opens of a crest, gravel, 50, 5 left, into flat right of a crest, opens long, tightens of a jump, into 5 left of a crest, tightens very long, into 6 right, 50, 4 right, extra long, opens flat of a crest, into 6 left, Into six right, into caution, five left of a jump, 50. Six left, very long, tightens of a bump, 50. Four right long, into slow, six left of a crest, 30, turn, one left, dot cut, 30. Six left, 100. Three right long, tightens logs outside, opens of a crest, 50. Right, six left of a crest, extra, extra long of a junction, 30. Keep middle of a jump, into three left long tightens, 80. 
Five points of a crest, extra, extra long, 30. Three point long, opens 80. Five left of a crest, extra long, caution tightens three. Into four point long. Into four left. Into four right, don't count. 120. Crest. Into five left tightens. Into four right long. Over junction. Middle. Six left. Extra, extra long. 170. Portion. Five right long. Tightens four. Slow 50. Turn unseen. One right. Opens. Extra long of a crest. 160 of a bumps. Four left. Extra, extra long. Tightens turn. Five left. Opens 80. Four left at bail. Don't cut. 30. Turn unseen. Two left around the bail. Cobbles. Don't cut. Three right. Three left. Of one right. Tightens around the bail. Cobbles. 30. One right, don't cut two left. Forty, turn two left around bail tarmac. Keep left over 160. Turn unseen, don't cut three right long, tightens two. Thirty, flat left long. Thirty, six left long, fifty. Or jump, fifty, six left long. 50, six right long, opens of a jump. The long crest and flat six right opens of a jump. Into six left, tightens of a crest. Into six right of a crest. To keep middle of a crest and flat right, 100. Keep left of a jump, 50. Six right, opens of a crest, 50. Five right. Left of a crest, 35 right long. Opens of a crest, into six left long. Caution, tightens three of a crest. Tightens into bump jump, into four right. 50. Keep middle of a crest, jump. 80. Six right of a crest, bumps. Six left of a crest, slow 30. Four right long. 120. Of a crest, into flat right of a crest, into four left, opens of a crest, into six left long, tightens of a crest, into four right long, into six left of a crest, jump, 100, flat left of a jump, extra, extra long, to keep middle of a 170, 6 right, 50, flat crest and 6 left long of a crest, into 6 right, opens of a crest, into 6 left long of a crest, 100, turn, 4 right, into 5 left, into 2 right, tightness tarmac, into 5 left, caution 100, chicane, 1 right entry, 1 left, 30, Three left long, opens six, extra long, up. Into six right, tightens five, gravel, 60. Four left, tightens on the crest, past junction, 30. Crest, and five right long, on the crest, and six right. Six left long, caution, 30, six right, tightens of a jump, 30. Flat right of a long crest, into six left long of a crest, into six right long of a crest, tightens five, to crest, and four left, opens, slow 80, turn, three right of a crest, 80, six left, opens, now, Poland is 80. one of their favourites.
um, here at Codemasters when we were out on the tunnel. The you've got really kind of fast flowing stages, you've got really fine gravel, you've also got your tarmac sections as well. So it's got a really lovely combination of very varied twists and turns characteristics. Um, speaking to our environment art team as well, we've been working really hard on how we approach doing our foliage. And really, you can see this come to life when you look at Poland. If you look at you know, the trees and the, the roadside foliage, it looks such a step up from the original Dirt Valley. Um, um, not that you can see it very much when you're absolutely flying through uh, through Poland here, but John has some very similar stages in, in real life in the shed, and it feels like a very familiar experience to the real same um, Hopefully you didn't, when he was actually in uh, Poland or, you know, neighbouring parts, he didn't have a little, little accident there in the middle, but bringing it to a close, 17 seconds ahead of the rest. So pretty decent run, John. You should be pleased with that. How, how do you think that went? Yeah, not, not too bad. Uh, I've just had the one mistake, so. Yeah, not too bad. Still yeah. still very quick. Yeah. And the Peugeot is one of your favorites to drive, I remember you saying. Yeah, I like the Peugeot, I like the Ford uh, Fiesta R5 as well. It's, it's really, because yeah. uh, I've driven it in real life, it's one of my favorites. So yeah. yeah, they're really fun to drive. Yeah, the, P the Fiesta R5 is a, a very, very nice car. Yeah. Um, you drive it well virtually and in real <laughs> life as well and um, looking forward to seeing you get into perhaps the uh, R5 in the next live stream, the Fiesta R5. Yeah, yeah, it would be really nice to show it off. And, yeah, we'll uh, be. All, all being well, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, we might have a couple of surprises on, on that on that front as well, might we? <laughs> yeah. um, so we're just going to set up for the, the next one. So we're going to show you the McGann around Silverstone. But while those guys are setting up, sorry, while they're doing that, big thanks to Isha, Kristen, Ross and everyone involved in this live stream because uh, you know we're working really hard towards submissions at the minute so for everyone to take some time out of their busy schedules uh, is awesome and really grateful and I hope you guys really love and appreciate it so while that's happening John what are you doing for Christmas? Oh I'm going home for two weeks to nice. chill out I'll probably be playing lots of uh, sim racing to keep <laughs> myself occupied but yeah I'm just going home to spend time with family and have a nice Christmas. Will you be wearing the flash yeah, and I think up. so. Yeah, so just I'm solidly for the next two it, weeks uh, now. <laughs> it's 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 my favourite one now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's lovely. And just saying, while you were driving, uh, Poland, you've said is one of your favourite stages. Just the pure technicality of it. Yeah, well, it's got a bit of everything. It's got nice flowing sections. It's got uh, technical sections. It's got jumps and uh, yeah, it's 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 really fun to drive. You know, whenever you want a good variation in road character, it's it's the one to go for. Yeah, and you were you were saying as well, so. Choosing hard tyres, what would your experience have been like if you'd gone for the softer tyres? Uh, the softer tyre would have given me more grip to begin with and obviously it would have declined the quickest as well with wear. So yeah. over a long stage you're better to go for maybe a medium or a hard compound because that will give you better longevity throughout the whole stage. Sure and then that's just sort of layering up the strategy again. You just yeah it's all about strategy and right plan ahead. Yeah. Cool right so it looks like you're going to be setting up. Uh, yeah while you're doing that should we run the trailer again? Because I think you should see it again and it's awesome. And uh, I want to show it off as much as possible. But possible. We've got some really, really cool uh, historic rally cars obviously in Dirt Rally. We've always had it in the Dirt Rally series, um, but we've got a pretty fine selection. So, um, want to go again? And there we go, you've got it again. It is still as beautiful as the first time I watched it, which was uh, a little while ago. Obviously, you have to get these things ready in advance. 
before we can share them with the world but it's absolutely brilliant and you know watching it hopefully you can get just an idea of what the experience is like so unfortunately Ross isn't here to get excited with me again because he's gone to important meetings but um, I'm not important and I don't have any important meetings so I'm just going to stay here uh, just while we get stuck into to the next race uh, a little word on the steelbook so obviously we announced that last week the steelbook we're still waiting to confirm the retailers for you know the vast majority of the different locations around the world um, hopefully we'll have some more news imminently and obviously we're stocking with Amazon in the UK but I know there's been a few queries about how that's going to be packaged so we're working on finding some answers out for you like as soon as possible and once we've got those answers we will give them to you in a handy little roadbook that's the the plan so I can see just out of the corner of my eye Jan is getting very ready to uh, start this race we're going to come to it in a few seconds but um, I hope you've really enjoyed watching this live stream John will join me on the sofa shortly afterwards so we can just have a little chat about how he's done because he's been under pressure it might be nice for him to have a nice little sit down nap next to me a little chat talk about you know what, what he's got planned for everything else but uh yeah i think we can go to the game let's go it's safe to say and now he's chasing the rest of the pack so going over the jump here and Silverstone obviously first Silverstone race for World Rally Cross was, was it earlier this year or last year I think it was this year I'm losing I think it's 2019 already so oh, someone's had a little spin I'm not a talented commentator away, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's just mentioned clipping them and obviously you can see here it's just a really fast and flowing section you've got <clears throat> all the hallmark characteristics of Silverstone here as well it was a brilliant event last year at Speed Machine and the racing here is really good so we've got an Audi up ahead obviously new to the game this year and we're in, obviously in the Megane as well which is a very tasty tasty car absolutely rapid Str throwing out the inside there no problems whatsoever it's worth mentioning that John has never actually driven a, a full rallycross event himself um, but I think he, if you're impressed by his skills and have lots of money he'd love to take that money off your hands and do it but it's a as you can see it's had a lot of practice and it's really really impressive and boom second finished how yeah, was that I, I got beat by uh, Petter Solberg <laughs> uh, well being beaten by Petter Solberg I mean a lot of people in rallycross have been beaten by Petter Solberg so we'll let you off <laughs> but um come over here come over here John and let's uh, let's catch up so how are things in the studio at the minute? Are you all really busy and getting ready for Yeah, we're really busy and just putting final polish on everything now. It's um, a really busy time of the project, so it's uh, all hands on deck and you know we're all putting in extra effort to get the game where it needs to be. Yeah, I mean what if, what would you what would you be doing today if you weren't streaming, for example? Um at the moment I'm doing pace note tuning, so making sure it's been Trigger in the right places, everything yeah. seems hunky dory with that, and I'm doing some other uh, bits and pieces with validation of uh, AI times and, and certain yeah. things like that. So, um, I mean, we won't go into too much detail, but I believe that you've started touching on the DLC stuff as well, haven't you? So, you're starting to get an, an insight into yeah. what that's going to feel like. So, we won't talk about that too much just in case we slip up, but I know that that's on the horizon for you as well. Yeah, obviously, it's not. It's something that's coming very quickly after a release DLC, so yeah. it's it's something that we're going to be working on now to to get it ready in time. So 
it's all very exciting and um, it's uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be anywhere else. It's, it's really fun to work on. Yeah, and what's also really handy as well is you get loads more practice. So when people get the game for the first time, they're like, <laughs> oh, John's at the top of the leaderboard. So <laughs> I'm going to hope you down on time trial. I'm not going to do it on every stage. But I think I want to pick one and just work at it and work at it and then come into work one yeah. day and be like, look what I did. Yeah. And then probably in five minutes time, you'll be like, I beat it again. Well, I'm, I'm very competitive, so that does sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Right, well, we hope you guys enjoyed that stream. Um, obviously, there's been lots to show, uh, lots to get stuck into, so we'll, this will be everywhere available for re-watching um, in all the usual places. But thanks for joining us, and we'll see you after Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See ya. See ya.